Well, it's perhaps the biggest game in Locomotive FC history tonight at Southwest University Park. El Paso playing host to New Mexico United. Now with a victory, Los Locos would clinch the Group C championship over their rivals from Albuquerque. Now El Paso also the hottest team in the league, riding an eight-match unbeaten streak into Saturday night. Sixth minute, looking good early. Brian Rebellon nearly heads it off of uh, the post, and then they cross it back in Josue. Aaron Gomez, his header off the post as well. They just can't get it in. Score chances were there early, but an injury to Omar Salgado in the first half changed everything. More than that in the second, and this was uh, second half. Leandro Caillijo almost knocking it in late for El Paso. This was a scary moment it, late in this one. In stoppage time, United thought got what they thought was a goal. It was caught off sides, however, so this one would end in a 0-0 tie. El Paso's chance to win the group has to wait. For more on this one, we turn it over to KTSM 9 Sports Director Andy Morgan, live at the swoop. Hey there, Colin. This certainly wasn't the result El Paso Locomotive FC had hoped for coming into this match, but it's a point. No harm, no foul. Am I right? At the same time, this team really wanted to wrap up the top spot in Group C, which would give them a home playoff game with two to play, a chance to rest some players. Instead, they're going to have to wait until next week. And it's not like they didn't have chances in this match. They were firing away on all cylinders, but everything changed midway through the uh, first half. Omar Salgado went down on a play that appeared to be away from the ball. He immediately grabbed his right knee and was screaming in pain. You could hear a pin drop in this stadium. It sucked the life out of Southwest University Park. Head coach Mark Lowry saying it just, it simply changed the game. He's a great outlet for us. He gets up the field. Um, he's obviously made some key plays in the last couple of games in terms of creating goals. We lost that outlet, which, which meant we couldn't get forward like we normally do. Um, and attack like we normally do in terms of, you know, playing hard up the field. We we end up kind of being stuck in at half a little bit, which is not who we are. Remember, this team just lost Chiro and Toko for the season to a torn ACL. Lowry saying Salgado will have an MRI, certainly hoping for the best for Omar Salgado. And with it, now we turn the page to next week, one week remaining in the regular season. Los Locos will play two matches, both on the road, as they're still looking to clinch the top spot in the group with a home playoff game comes with it. We're live at Southwest University Park. Andy Morgan, KTSM 9 Sports. All right, thanks, Andy. Quickly to the Group C standings. El Paso has 28, New Mexico 24 points, so they're up four with two matches left. But again, going to be very difficult with all of these injuries for El Paso. Omar Salgado, Andy mentioned Chiro and Toko out for the season. We also don't know about Andrew Fox or Nick Ross, who also went down with some knee injuries. Hopefully, we'll get some news on those players coming up here soon. Back